trying it's always an exciting day when you bring down an elijah craig barrel proof release and if not now i'm not mistaken sometimes i'm wrong once in a while not not often but i think that's the c923 it is it's that time of year already which is kind of hard to believe i think this was 75 dollars yeah, you know, I know the MSRP. I looked into it a little bit. You did? Okay. I did. Well, at least you did your homework. I did. <laughs> Surprising. I didn't do any. MSRP is 70 bucks, but I kind of figured it'd be closer okay. to 80 around us. Uh, 133 proof. Is that the? Is that like the yeah. highest proof that they've done ever? Yeah. Really? Oh, no. I don't know about ever, bud. I don't know about ever. I didn't, I didn't get that far with it. Oh, is this the first one that's not like a, a solid 12 year? Yes. 13 years, 7 months. That's what I was getting oh, the bottle for. I tell you, thirteen wow. years, seven months is the age statement on the bottle. Okay. So that sounds fantastic. The proof is up there just a touch. I'm trying to remember the mash bill trend, but I, I don't remember exactly. But it is seventy-eight percent corn, so it's a little bit high corn than high okay. barley. So, but all that sounds absolutely delicious. You get a little bit of a high corn mash bill, you get that 133 proof, you get that 13 year, seven month age statement. Huh. Well, your <laughs> your favorites are like C9, C919 C9 yep. and B520. Correct. Have you ever had a like an A that's your favorite? No. No. Okay, so I feel like it's usually C's yeah. that are the not the best out of the bunch, but usually mm -hmm. are leave a little bit more of an impression than the others. Okay. So. I don't yeah. know. I haven't seen any reviews on this. I don't know anything about it. I haven't it. either. So. I haven't either. And uh, I have seen some bottles being flashed around a little bit on social media. So some people are picking them up. Okay. Oh, God. Cool. So, oh, that wasn't even English, I just said. <laughs> I know you started buttering. I was making sure you weren't going to fall over or something. That burns my nose, but it's delicious. Oh, that's a beautiful toffee note in there, Trent. Yeah, it's got some cinnamon. Some cinnamon. There's a lot going on in that. Ooh, that is like a luscious toffee cinnamon. I get I get that, but I also get like a slight nuttiness and like a candy coating mm. kind of thing at the yes. at like the tail end. Or, no, it's one. like it's more of like a tartness at the at the very end. That nuttiness was a good one. I, I, I can get that. I'm not quite getting your candy thing. It's not think of it as more like a it's like a tart sourness that I'm okay. kind of getting on the nose. It, okay. It's kind of just throughout. It's not just that one like, particular. Like, like sometimes when I say sharp. Yeah. Or yeah. And something like that. Okay. But not in a sour way like you've talked about with wild turkey before. Right. Just Understood. Oh. I understand. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm singeing just a touch of my nose hairs, just a tiny bit. Maybe not as bad as I thought it might be, but yeah, well, there's definitely some alcohol going on there. And I did you brought this down a while ago, but we had other videos to do. Yeah. So it's been down here five, six days. I did open it. Oh, you did? And okay. I actually left it on the bar top open for a couple hours before I went to bed that night. And then it's been sitting there. So it has okay, been, so open, been for open for a, for a for about a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, went, I made a mistake. I went full hog, set full send with my nose into <laughs> this thing. And it, it definitely, I don't even need to buy a was, nose hair trimmer. That's you why I was like, that. I was out here like this. No, that's I why. Went, I went like all the way <laughs> in. Proof. I went all the way in. All right, well, let's see. What, right. Let's see what we got here on the palate. What is happening with that? Sweet Jesus! <laughs> Buy this if you see it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> see you later. Well, it's, it's still burning some. I will say that. Oh yeah, it is. That proof shows up. Uh, but I, but I won't say it's over, it tastes overproof. I won't say that. Mm -mm. But I will tell you this: for those of you that might be sensitive to higher higher proof whiskeys, this one does drink at its proof. It does definitely. However, I have to take another sip because the flavors are absolutely outstanding. Oh, come on. It's like making my saliva thicken mm. and I can't talk properly. Sort of, uh, wow. Mm. There's a real dominant fruit flavor, like a, it's like a mix like a, between a grape like, and a cherry kind of thing. But like super dark and rich yeah. grape cherry. Yeah, absolutely. Not, not bright, light, like the, no, deep and rich, like it was stewed in sugar.
This is like a cherry. This is like a re whiskey reduction that they poured <laughs> it in. It is. There, for real. Beautiful caramel. I mean, you get the standard, right? The yeah. caramel, the yeah. toffee, the cinnamon is there that I, that I got on the nose, too. All that's there with it, you know, helping to combine in the richness of the sip. God, it's so good. I'm going to go out on a limb mm -hmm. right now and say... Baking spice. Yeah. That sip. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just... This Rebelling. is this is probably top five of the year right now. <laughs> I, I will say this, you know, I read a little bit about it, whatever, and I and same things you were saying about the age statement and, mm -hmm. and all that jazz with the proof point too, and, and I was extremely hopeful because there have been. I want to phrase this properly. For an Elijah Craig barrel proof release in the last couple of years, there have been a few that were letdowns. Yeah. We've talked about that before, where if you've tasted some of the best releases that they have, yeah. you really want to get another one that's up there with it. And there's been a few that have been, you know, kind of letdowns for me, especially. But that, that rivals my favorites. That rivals the B520, that rivals the C919. That's one of the best. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof releases that I've had in a couple years. I don't drink Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs probably as much as you do. I have mm. eight, seven, seven, eight, nine of them over the years. Okay. Um, I wonder why don't you then? I, wonder, I don't know. Like because you like the higher proof. I'm I just do. curious. I'm curious. To, to be fair, I haven't I haven't been drinking a whole lot at home apart from I don't know ten bottles ish mm -hmm. that I just have in my mm -hmm. in my desk drawer because everything is in my basement. Everything's mm -hmm. in a box and it's it's hard mm -hmm. to to know what's where right now. But I have like 10 boxes in his mm. garage still, and I don't even know what's in them. <laughs> and his mom asks him every other week to take them with him. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, uh, and I get that. And I, norm I, I know you normally pull a rye, too, a lot yeah. of times if you're having a sip at home. I understand I'm, that. I'm actually a little bit speechless with, with this one. Yeah. I got to be honest. I'm, I'm, Third, I'm, almost a 14-year for $70. The oak, Come on. The oak in there is rich. You know, it, it's... Everything about that sip for me personally is rich and beautiful. I mean, it just is. It's 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 dark. There is no leather, and nothing no. like that in there. It's all like Trenton said with that grapey, cherry type, dark stewed and sugar. Definitely some caramel, toffee, cinnamon. I got a little baking spice. I know I'm kind of rambling, but it's all there. And it's all good, and it works well. <clears throat> At first, I was like, oh, God. <clears throat> I was like, this doesn't really taste like... I'm not as good at picking up Heaven Hill products as I am like a Jim Beam. Mm -hmm. But Heaven Hill has kind of this... Like a dirty oak kind of thing going on. It's not quite as like an earthy or a leathery as Jim Beam, but it's still kind of there, and it pulls a little bit of earthiness okay. at times. All right. Sometimes a little bit of nuttiness, but not like Jim Beam. Yes, I've heard, I've heard that from others too. The nuttiness. The first time, like the first couple of sips I had, it was like this isn't this doesn't taste like mm. Heaven Hill at all. No, now that it's been in the glass for a cup for a little bit, okay, and I just tasted it again. It is a little bit. The proof's kind of dialed up just a little bit compared to the beginning, mm -hmm. but the flavor is just yeah. like run me over with a semi truck kind of flavor in there. It's insane. Yeah, and, that, and that's the only thing that I could say that could possibly be a negative for some. Yeah. There's some out there that just that's just too high of a proof. Yeah. And I understand that. I, I truly do. This one does drink at its proof. If I were to enjoy a pour of this, Trent, it would probably be one ounce or one and a half ounces, and, that, and that's it. Because it's, I wouldn't put this one over ice either. Those flavors are so good yeah. just the way it is. That's me, but I wouldn't. But I would only pour maybe an ounce of it and really enjoy it. You know, that, that's just one to kind of savor and sip and milk yeah. it out. Well, Beautiful. if you want to see a video, I think it would be interesting to pit this up against your favorites and, <laughs> and kind of see where it lands. On a blind? On a blind. I've had a lot of people try and comment on this, too. We've been doing our Friday blind series. They want us to keep going on Fridays with whatever blinds we do. Just really? Friday's blind day. If you, want, right. if you want Friday blind day, we'll do other videos on Monday and Wednesday. If you want Friday to be blind day... Let us know. Yeah, we got all kind. I got all kinds of ideas. I've been oh, thinking gosh. about that for a while. We well, can incorporate Trenton versus Kurt on on, on blinds. 
you think up one for me, I think up one for you. Trust me, I got all kinds of ideas. Why aren't we doing it? Let's go. Well, so, that's after these people, after a lot of folks kind of comment and saying, let's make Friday blind day. Oh, okay. I was thinking of ideas of what we could do moving forward. I saw a lot of them about the rye blind, the budget rye blind, putting mm -hmm. in the, the bonded in there yeah. with like a written house and old forester. And I want to do that one. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Sounds, sounds good to yeah. me. If you, if you like it, let us know, man. I, I don't mind making a fool of myself every once in a while. Uh, it's just fun. You know what I do Blinds every day, are fun so. and, and you just go with it and whatever happens, happens. Um, I guess we kind of went off the, the, the tracks there a little bit, but if you see this, mm -hmm. and unless you are very sensitive to, to proof of your bourbons, because this right. it, this it says 133, mm -hmm. sometimes you get a bourbon that's that hot, it doesn't drink like that, but this, right. in my opinion, I think in our opinion, yes. definitely does, mm -hmm. but it is full flavor, oh, yeah. full body, the mouth feels ridiculous. Quintessential, outstanding Kentucky bourbon sitting in that bottle right there. Pick it up. Yeah. Heck, heck, uh, heck of a job from Heaven Hill coming yes. out of the gate. After they Ooh. announced that news, like, hey, this isn't going to be a 12 year old yeah. time anymore, a lot wow. of people were like, oh, here we go. <laughs> and then they come out of the gate with this at almost 14 year. Wild. We'll see what, what the A batch yeah. is like next year. My, I have a hunch that it's going to be under 12. Well, we'll, we'll go see. with it. We'll, we'll see what see. happens, right? Wow. All right. That's all we got for you today. I don't know about you, but I enjoyed it. I that's for it. sure. Yeah. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it all of you. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.